Ukraine is fighting for Donbass because of the region's vast natural resources, which Kiev and its foreign backers want to exploit, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev said. The Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, which officially joined Russia together with Kherson and Zaporozhye regions in the fall of 2022, are completely alien to Ukraine in terms of culture. Medvedev wrote on Telegram, the reason why the Kiev authorities are trying to get them back so desperately, he explained, is trivial. Money is needed. The criminal clique of Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky, which has stolen so heavily, has led the country's economy to disaster, while Kiev's backers in the US and EU have also spent a lot on aiding Ukraine during conflict, which irritates their populations. Medvedev, who serves as deputy chair of the Russian Security Council, also pointed out. The West needs a payback from Ukraine, he said, adding that it has nothing to do with Zelensky personally. This kid will be gone soon, but the debt will remain, and it must be paid off with interest, the former president noted. Medvedev reminded readers that according to open source data, the natural resources located in Donbass are estimated to be worth $7.3 trillion. The area is rich in coal, metals, rare earth elements, and other valuable materials, including lithium. To get access to the coveted minerals, the Western parasites shamelessly demand that their wards in Kiev wage war to the last Ukrainian, he wrote. Russia says that Western politicians are directly voicing their plans, the official said, referring to a statement made by South Carolina's Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. In June, the Republican lawmaker called Ukraine a gold mine due to its vast reserve of critical minerals. Graham argued that Washington should keep helping Kyiv in the conflict with Moscow to make sure that assets could be used by Ukraine and the West, not given to Putin and China. With the Russian military making steady gains in Donbass since the start of the year and now approaching the strategic town of Pokrovsk, the fact remains that the economic basis of Ukrainian statehood has been undermined, Medvedev wrote. The resource base that had been illegally obtained by Kiev after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 has returned to its native country, which is Russia, he said. As for Ukraine, the Western aid it gets will soon dry up and all that awaits the country is rapid decomposition and imminent disintegration. The former president concluded. Dutch Armed Forces Commander Onno Eichelsheim has stated that Ukraine is permitted to use Dutch-donated F-16 fighter jets within Russian territory, provided they adhere to the laws of war, NL Times reported. Despite Ukraine's appeals, Western countries, including the US and the UK, have restricted Ukraine's use of their long-range weapons like ATACMS and Storm Shadow missiles to prevent deep strikes inside Russia, allegedly aiming to avoid escalation. Ukraine received its first F-16s in early August, with up to 10 aircraft delivered and more expected later. We have not imposed any restrictions on the use and range of the F-16, provided that the law of war is observed. Eichelsheim said in an interview with NOS, the highest-ranking military officer in the Netherlands praised Ukraine's recent surprise incursion on Russia's Kursk Oblast as brilliant in practical terms. Ukrainian forces entered the region on the 6th of August and have since taken control of more than 100 locations along the border after targeting military infrastructure and airports in the area. They have taken over a large area in a good way, with few techniques, quite quickly. In doing so, they have created a dilemma for Putin, Eichelsheim told Nos. The commander of the armed forces would have no problems if such offensive actions include the use of Dutch weapons. The resources we supply can be used by Ukraine as it wishes, provided humanitarian law of war is adhered to. The Americans partly agree, says Eichelsheim, who is visiting his counterparts in the US. Previously, the US allowed Ukraine to use GMLRS rockets in the Russian territory near the border, but not the longer-range ATACMS missiles capable of reaching high-value targets such as airbases. They have other restrictions, but they have also supplied other weapons systems. At least we have the same line to make sure Ukraine wins the war. I think we are putting all our efforts into making this happen. Eichel Scheim said, Ukraine has been using Western-supplied guided bombs in Kursk Oblast to destroy reinforced targets such as bridges. However, Ukraine is likely using its Soviet-era fighters for these attacks rather than the newly acquired F-16s. 
The Netherlands has made 24 F-16 fighters available to Ukraine, though Eichelsheim declined to specify how many have been transferred so far.